Hey Simleys, it's Dilly Grissy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Scream Sorority Part 2. And uh, if you guys are wondering what's going on in this closet, uh, Valentina's crying. She's just crying. Poor thing. Uh, she's very sad because we just, in the last part, were all at a party. And even though she was having a good time uh, stepping on the date on the date floor, she caught the love of her life flirting with another. Are they joking around or losing interest? She's like, why don't you love me? Uh, but basically that is actually Romy's boyfriend, Taj. So she's just in love with Taj and it's kind of sad just crying. Okay, she's out of there. I think she's let it all out. I think she's feeling okay now. Oh no, she still looks defo. But that's okay, because we're gonna do something fun in this part. We're gonna go to the local pool and Nadia, wherever she is, who's having a bit of fun in her bathtub, just being like, ah, I'm the best. I have my own ensuite. Uh, she, in the last part, uh, we found out her little secret. And her secret is she is gay. And even though there's obviously absolutely nothing wrong with being gay, she herself feels like there is. She's struggling because she doesn't want to believe she's gay because she's this queen bee who's very stereotypical and uh, she would be afraid that that would mean the other girls would lose respect for her. So in order to get over this, what we're going to do is get her to throw uh, a little pool, pool gathering and what she's going to do is be really mean to the nerd Ecclesley. And she's going to pretend that Ecclesley can come join the Kappa Kappa Tau house. But then she's going to embarrass her and make her feel awful. So uh, let's do that. Let's go to the map. Let's go to the pool. We'll invite Ecclesley along. Okay, let's go over here. And by the way, I was absolutely stoked with your awesome comments that you have left uh, on the last part. I was so happy that you guys seem to be as excited about this LP as me. And uh, the only negative comments were basically just saying, um, oh, nothing happened in this part. Why did no one die? Isn't this meant to be like a murder mystery? But, you know, guys, we've got to have a little bit of time to actually lay down the groundwork. So then there's actually characters that we can understand the clues from to who may have done it. But anyway, sorry, I have the hiccups. Let's maybe uh, be really nice to her, like really, really sickly sweet and pretend like we really like her. Maybe we will just, oh, I lost it. Where did she go? I love Ecclesley's outfit. Oh my gosh, you look so bay, Ecclesley, with your awesome sunnies and Tropicana one piece. Uh, maybe we'll just say, hmm, I guess we could just discuss dance techniques. Just be like, wow, your dancing was so good the other night. I love your sunglasses. Where did you get them? And then under her breath, she'll be like, that's the ugliest effing pair of sunglasses I have ever seen. <laughs> that is a, uh, a mean girl quote, means girls quote, one of my favorite films ever. So she's just pretending to be a friend. Okay, let's also maybe hug it out. Be like, you're such a good friend, Ecclesley. You're so sweet. We really like you here at Kappa Kappa Tau. Give a bit of an inside joke. And we might actually start the gathering as well with all the other girls. So let's bring them all down here. Stay here so they can all arrive. And we'll say to, say to her, um, oh, actually, I think we're going to need to, in order to invite her to the Kappa Kappa Towers, I think we need to actually add in uh, a club point thingamabobamajig. Yeah, we need to add another position for her to join. Oh my God, Desiree, what is your problem? Okay, maybe we can't get her to join, but we can still have been really, really nice to her. And then I think Nadia should maybe then mischief go dead a streak. Like, oh my gosh, Ecclesley, it would be so funny if you were going to streak. All of us girls would think it was the best. You'd be so cool. And then I promise you can be part of the Kappa Kappa Towers. Oh gosh, Ecclesley. <gasps> She's running, dude! Oh my gosh, Ecclesley, you crazy lady. She's just doing it. She's like... 
Yay, I'm going to be a Kappa Kappa Tau party. <laughs> can we react to her streaking? We can invite her. To, we should invite her to the Kappa Kappa Tau and then kick her out. Yes. I don't know. We'll wait till she comes back. But she's streaking. She's doing a lap around the place. And uh, then Nadia probably thinks that's hilarious. Is making her feel really good putting her down. I want to gossip. I want to gossip with Peach. Peach would love a good goss. There we go. Let's have a little goss to her. Okay, Romy's got to go to work as well. Where did Ecclesley go? Is she back or is she still streaking? She probably wants to really make sure that she's going to make the Kappa Kappa Taz. Uh, is she back here? Who's this? No. Oh my god, Ecclesley has actually run away. They all just want to dance. I'm pretty sure that's... Oh my god, convinced to step down as Kappa Kappa Tau's leader. I did not know we could do that in this game. That is cool. Ask to see outfit. Okay. I like Ecclesley. She is pretty cool. Yeah, right, Nadia. Maybe they can have a little bit of a giggle about that. And share a secret and be really bitchy about Ecclesley. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. It's so funny. All right, where are you, Ecclesley? Can we call you over? Okay, she's in the pool, so I'm just calling her over. Come on, Ecclesley. Come talk to us. She's so skinny, little Ecclesley. So skinny. I like how we just call her over and then she comes. How was your streak? <laughs> Invite to Kappa Kappa Tau. All right, let's do this. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is actually happening. I'm finally here. I would, are you kidding? I would love to join Kappa Kappa Tau. And uh, then maybe we can give a heartfelt compliment. And then instill with fake confidence. And then, I don't know. What's something really mean? Invite to a fake party. <laughs> Come on, girl. I was like, oh my god, a fake party. I love it. <laughs> or a party, but really, we're going to kick her out. Really, we're going to kick this girl out. Like, look, Ecclesley. Really, streaking was weird. And we don't like you. And why would we ever let you be part of our Kappa Kappa Tau? And she's like, ugh, just in a day's work. And she runs home upset. So we're now back at the Geeky House, aka the Nerd House. And Ecclesley is feeling really, really sad. Uh, she is just drinking some orange juice, trying to make herself feel a little bit brighter. Uh, but she is sad from being kicked out uh, from the Kappa Kappa Tau's. Uh, which is quite upsetting and you know she was barely there she barely made her dreams so I think what we're gonna do is she's gonna go over to her good friend Ash Ash who has blue hair and is obsessed with the color blue uh, we're gonna go over to him and reveal her deep secret about really really wanting to be in the Kappa Kappa Taos and she just is so upset that she can't be there Let's just have a chat to Ash. She's like, I really, really want to be a Kappa Kappa Tau and I made it into it and then they kicked me out. It's like, hey, it's all right. Maybe if you just make some money, you can pay to get in. <laughs> and then Ecclesley can say, can show off her muscles and be like, look, I'm not that bad looking, right? Maybe if I had a makeover, I would look better. <gasps> Yes, makeover time. Let's give Ecclesley a makeover and then she can probably change her name and get into the house without being recognized. I wonder if Prince will give her, oh no, she doesn't know Prince. Damn it, I thought Prince would be a good, good guy to give her a makeover. 
but that's all right. We'll, oh my gosh, they have kids' bedrooms. This is probably Ecclesley's room. <laughs> She's like, I still play with toys. <laughs> All right, let's give her a makeover to join the Kappa Kappa Tau ladies and we'll change her name to maybe oh, Ecclesley, uh, Elkie. We'll change her name to Elkie and they won't even recognize her. All righty, so Ecclesley isn't that bad looking. We have a lot to work with, but first of all, we've got to get rid of that monobrow. That monobrow is not is not doing you any good girl. And I've also put uh, this Kaz into Kaz.full edit mode because I figured we could shape her eyebrows a little bit to make them look a little bit more appropriate for these ladies. Maybe bring them down a little bit like this. There we go, that's looking nice. And her hair, we could dye her hair like blonde, but I feel like I like her dark hair, like naturally dark hair is beautiful. So we can, oh girl, she's a babe. She is an absolute babe. Who would have known with a bit of work, Ecclesley would look amazing. Uh, so let's maybe give her some nice hair. Mm, I'm thinking we go with something a little bit glam. I mean, that's quite pretty. I do, that is one of my favorite hairstyles in The Sims 4 for sure. When that first came out, I was so over heels excited about it. I was like, shut the front door. This is the best hair I've ever seen in The Sims. The side thing was quite nice. I kind of like that. But then I feel like her hair being a bit bigger would be, would feel more like a makeover. <gasps> oh, that makes her less recognizable. Maybe she, she probably does need to change her hair color. Otherwise they would totally know who she is. All right. I know we're having another blondie in the house. Maybe we can dye Peach's hair black to mix it up a little bit, but we'll just lighten up her eyebrows a little bit. We'll give her some makeup. Uh, whoops. We want to go to the makeup there. Let's give her some lippy. Ooh, that's nice. And how much liner do we want? We probably want her to cake it on a little bit. Some blush. Oh, she's the hot. She's the new hottest chick on the block, and she's so slim. She's so slim. Uh, so let's get her hair to. Oh, girl, <laughs> honey, <laughs> please get rid of those <laughs> glasses. Oh wow. Which hair were we using? This one. Oh, that was kind of nice. The other one I clicked on. That's not bad. I think the hair's a little bit big though. I prefer this and it's more shiny. I like shiny hair. Hey, Eccleshly. <laughs> That's how she used to talk, but she probably went to some voice coaching lessons now. So she even knows how to talk like a lady more and act like a lady more. And I'm going to say Prince, the Sim from the edgy crew gave her this makeover just because I love Prince and he's amazing. Where's the, this one? This is the cool one. I really like this eyeshadow, even though it's a little OTT. I think she still looks amazing in it. Okay, so she's got her, her hair figured out. Question is her outfit. Uh, can we maybe get rid of the stockings? Cause we don't really like those. And she's a very slender girl. Like she's super skinny. So I don't know if we can enhance her curves with like one of these dresses that are a bit more A-line or something, or if we just embrace her being quite thin and just go with that. Uh, let's see, maybe we can go with, oh, we could give her a really preppy look. Yeah, I think we'll go ultra, ultra preppy for this. So she looks like she really, 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 really fits in. Uh, so we'll give her some socks as well, knee high socks which is still slightly like you kind, it kind of makes you think of nerdy fashion because it's preppy style, but she ain't no nerd. She's, she's gorgeous. Maybe we'll take off the socks. I changed my mind. Those socks are not bae. <laughs> These are fun, but she would be wearing heels in this household. Wouldn't she? If we want to do the perfect makeover, we got to give her the heels. Okay, we probably need some jewelry as well on her. So let's give her some rings. Uh, I wonder who funded this. 
maybe her maybe she does come from a wealthy family in any case we've got some pearls and maybe I'll give her a couple more outfits as well Okay, so here we have the new and improved, well, I don't know, I kind of like the old Eckersley, but these are her new outfits. She's gone all out with her glam and preppy looks, very girly, very feminine, very much uh, what would probably be the ideal Kappa Kappa Tau kind of girl. I'd say that Nadia receives a phone call about a new girl wanting to apply for the sorority who seems like the dream kind of girl so I'm pretty sure Nadia is absolutely stoked. <laughs> She's like yes, hot, talented, but not quite as smart as me. Perfect. And they're arriving in a truck perhaps, <laughs> I don't know. So Nadia is very, very happy uh, to be inviting the new and improved Eccleslie, uh, or Elkie shall we say, to the household as the newest sorority member. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So let's wait until the next part. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon.